Uh, this is a Ford F-150 2007 with a 4.6 engine in it. Last year, last March, for the first time, I got a code and I replaced the ignition coil myself, not knowing what I was doing or anything. I'll put a link to that video in the back. That was the P0308 ignition coil, which is way over there. Now here's the first one, P0301 error code. You get a check engine light. AutoZone reads them for you. Now that little bolt there in the, is a seven millimeter socket and I'd already started loosening it up when I decided to film it. I think that's loose enough that I can use my hands. This is so much easier when you're, yeah, I can use my hands to loosen it the rest of the way. And of course, it's very important <laughs> I learned because when I did it the first time on the P0308, I had this attached. I didn't know you should take this apart. Suddenly I had a huge spark and I stopped what I was doing and came and undid this. See that? See it? It's coming unscrewed. It's real easy to do. Just loosen it. Things are in the way, but they're not. Okay. Don't drop the mag. Don't drop it. Don't drop it. I've got it in my hand, but I don't trust myself not to drop things, so I'm going to use this telescoping magnet to help me know that I won't drop it. I want to show you how well this telescoping magnet works. See? Seven millimeter socket. Put that thing there. That's the ignition coil, and here's this thing that's so hard for me to get off. But I'm going to pull the ignition coil out and then try to get it off. This rail here is... Come on! It's kind of stuck. It's not coming out as easily as the... Uh... Oh, well, maybe if I just move it out of the way. Yeah, it's coming out. I'm just stuck. Come on. Don't be afraid of it. Boy, it's breaking up. <laughs> Ooh, look at that dirt. I don't want any dirt going in there. Now this is breaking apart. You know, my my first one didn't break apart, nor did number two break apart, but this one, breaking apart. Hopefully it's just the coil. Now it's this thing in back here. I'm supposed to be able to see that. I need to put away this uh, flashlight though. You know, I have on my glasses, and I have bifocals, but... Hmm. Oh, no, here it is. There we go. Here it is. It's a little monkey look. Here it is right there. Kind of got to press it. Oh, hold on. Look, I'm proud of myself. I got it unplugged. Broke the damn thing, practically. But what I did is I had to use, because I don't have any physical strength in my hands, evidently. One thing, I got some better lighting. Well, easier to hold still lighting. Use this to push in something back here. When I did that, something fell down. I probably broke the plug or something, and I just pulled this off. Okay, here's the replacement. It's a Delphi. I have a Motorcraft one that I ordered online, but it's at the post office. And I figured, oh, that's not going to be so bad. Because then I'll have one, a Motorcraft one, on hand to just easily change if this happens again. 
I've already added the grease to it. You add this stuff called dielectric grease. I'm going to get it down that hole. You just go underneath that bar and get it to go in there, making sure and I go underneath. You have to make sure your little hole lines up with. Now there it is. Okay, I've got that lined up. Here's my I love this telescoping doodad. It has a really strong magnet. Let's see if I can make enough light here. At any rate, if I can do this, well, old me, so can you. All right. Loosen up. Now, let's see. It's lefty loosey, righty tidy. So then you turn this little knob here and then test it to make sure that when you're doing it, the end is going to turn it to the right. Let's put this, you know, I may not need that. I may not need this. This gizmo comes in handy. If I'd had that when I was doing the eighth one, I would have. But I not, may not need that with this because this is so close by. Look. Oh, yeah, I can. There. Let's. I should have, maybe I should have snapped it together to begin with. Well, the way I've done them before is I made sure they were in before I tried snapping it on. It'd be easier if I had longer arms. All right, name of the game when you live rural is to learn to do as much as you can for yourself. Be self-reliant, learn how to do these things because Especially if you live on top of a mountain where it's, you don't really like the idea of trying to drive with a check engine light going to beat 60. At least I don't. Hey, that's getting tight. I'll just do it. You don't want to break it. Okay, that seems pretty darn smooth. And see how that stayed there? That's what happened to me the last time. But thanks to trusty magnet, these telescoping magnets, see how easy that is? Yeehaw! That's easy. That is easy. When you've got the right tools, you know my husband, I'm widowed, my late husband, Roy, always told me, his nickname's for me, Sissy. He'd say, Sissy, it doesn't matter if tools are old. What matters is that you have the right tool for the right job. You need to have the right tool for the right job. That's just imperative. And I see what Roy means. Now I have to snap this back on see put that on oh, this sure is this this number one is easy though if I have to hold this I may as well use the better one see that's good and end tight and then I just have to all these damned wires oh I've got it twisted yeah all right Well, I don't hear a snap. Probably because I broke that thing off. Yeah, I don't hear a snap. Yeah, 
have to hear a snap. Okay. I don't have a snap because I broke that thing off. Where is it? Now, while I'm under here, I'm going to check the oil level. And I'm glad to see that what I had done in a year ago to keep corrosion from happening on the battery terminals has worked. Look, no corrosion. At any rate, that did not snap. I have electrical tape. What I'm going to do is get electrical tape and tape around this because I don't, I mean, it's plugged in, but I don't hear a snap because the little pluggy part went boo-boo. They may have a way of ordering little plugs like that. And I think I'll get electrical tape to tape that tight. But if you don't break your plug, <laughs> your little hook, you'll hear a snap. I heard one on the eighth one and on the, on the second one. Okay, it's in there. I'll just put electrical uh, tape on it. And then I'll reattach the negative cable to that. I got the uh, electrical tape wrapped around it, hoping that'll keep it attached. And now I'm going to put this back on. Anyway, that's a P0301 error code. That was the easiest one of all of this. If I can do it, you can, for sure. Bye-bye from Cloudcroft, New Mexico.